A Christian TV host has asked God for a military takeover of President Obama's presidency. Raw Story has a write-up about this. This is Christian TV host uh, Rick Joyner, who hosts on Morningstar TV. It's an internet broadcast of some kind. And he said that God should be considering a military takeover of the Obama presidency. Here's how he put it. I can't put it as eloquently as Rick Joyner did. So I will let his words speak for themselves. We're headed for serious tyranny. I think we've been used in some wonderful and powerful ways by God. We've been one of the most generous nations in history. We've, we've done so much good. And that's why I appeal to the Lord. Don't let us be totally destroyed. Please raise up those who will save us. And as I started telling friends for a long time, that no election is going to get the right person in there that can restore us because the system is so broken, so undermined right now, the whole system. I believe our only hope is a military takeover. Martial law. Yeah, so I have a few thoughts on this, Lewis. If God really wanted to take over the Obama presidency, I can assure you he wouldn't need the military, right? I mean, God is all powerful and all knowing. He would be able to just take over the presidency without the military's help, I think. Look, if you pray hard enough, God, God can do anything. You just have to pray hard enough. But the real question is, why would God have even allowed President Obama to become president in the first place? Let's assume for a second, though, that God does concern himself with the individual laws passed by individual presidents in specific countries, on specific planets, in specific solar systems, in specific galaxies, in specific parts of the universe, right? I mean, there's a lot to do, but let's assume God has enough time to focus on the, the minutia. Would he really be on the side against getting more people health care? I, I suppose he would. I mean, that's, that's what happened, right? Yeah, right. According to to uh, to Mr. Joyner here, to believe that this is the way that God would act really makes you have to imagine that God doesn't sound like that great of a person. A military takeover because more people are getting health care. It sounds like a very angry and vengeful God. Sounds like a good movie. But David, you know, you can't really ask questions because as soon as you start asking questions, this whole thing just falls apart. No, actually, when you ask questions like this, you know what answer you get, right? Hey, God works in mysterious ways. There's no way to possibly know how or why God does this or doesn't do this or anything else. Really? Well, then how are you so sure God doesn't want gay people? That's kind of the obvious follow up to that. Also, another uh, mysterious uh, thing about God that we just will never understand. No, someday we will understand it. We will. I'm sure if we gave more money to a church, we would we would soon become one with the explanation for how God wants less health care. Uh, but also wants to put gay people out of their misery, as, as uh, many Republicans would say. Amazing. Let's take a break. Michael Brooks is next. We're going to talk about the new face of terrorism. And then later we will talk about a chain store that is now backtracking after some incredibly anti-Jewish things were said. We will have your voicemails. A lot is happening today. Glad you were with us. Join us on Facebook, facebook.com slash David Pakman show. Michael Brooks is next.